guys, so today is day two. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna reverse tape, but come follow me. We noticed that the raptor loop kind of strange from this area, and we believe that it was a contaminated uh, part of the bare metal. So as you can see, Art is already taking it off. And guys, we can't leave that for the customer, so Art, is, all he's gonna do is sand this whole area, and then double will sand this whole area just to make sure uh, the raptor was thick and after that we're gonna clean it with uh, paint thinner and shoot some adhesion promoter so all right all right guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start scraping off all these little parts where i believe that the raptor is gonna bubble up after that i'm gonna sand it down we're gonna clean with paint thinner and then we're gonna put a uh, adhesion promoter and like he said we're just gonna double send this whole thing just in case so this thing won't happen again because we can't leave leave it like this for the customer all right let me get to it all right guys so we're finished removing the damaged raptor this part here looks good we're gonna finish doing it's called uh sanding this part because we don't feel good about this part the bottom part looks good we don't see any damaged raptor on that so we're gonna leave it like that we think that the contaminant came from the glue that the customer used to join the camper in the bed. So all we're gonna do now, we're gonna finish doing side of this part. We're gonna clean it with paint thinner. We're gonna put it some adhesive promoter. And, and then after that, we're gonna try and wrap that again. All right, let's get to it. All right guys, so we're gonna start uh, spraying the parts that were damaged. So let's get to the Alright guys, so we pretty much fi uh, fixed the damage that was uh, on here. We uh, re-sprayed already and we got a little head start on uh, papering and taping so we can start spraying on the rest of the gray which is going to be this and all of this. So we're going to tape up all this right here and we're going to shoot, oh, we're also going to tape up this and we're going to tape up, uh, I mean we're going to spray the Raptor, uh, the other gray on this. So. Alright guys, so we're done uh, prepping up the camper. All we're gonna do now is shoot the rest of the gray, which is this uh, raptor right here. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so uh, we're pretty much done spraying the whole camper all the way around. All I'm going to do now is just give it some texture. Let's get to that.
guys. So uh, that's the texture. We're just gonna wait about a couple of the 45 minutes, let it dry, come back, take off all the paper, and uh, show you guys how it looks. All right guys, so we're done with the camper. It was a pretty much, uh, it was a pretty fun job to do and to work on. Uh, we met the customer specifications. He wanted a charcoal gray with a gray and we got right on it. It looks really beautiful. So just take a look guys. All right guys, so we also decided to do the, the AC cover gray because you know it was gonna look really ugly if it was just white with the whole camper gray so we decided to go ahead and do this so it could match with the entire camper all right guys so that's it for this video uh once again guys check out our website as we're gonna put it down in the description it has a bunch of things you guys uh, want to know and need to know, so go check that uh, webpage out, guys. Also, guys, on the webpage, there's a chart. Uh, on that chart, if you put how many, it will show you how many bottle, bottles of Raptor you will need to wrap your vehicle. And you just click on it, and then it will give you an estimate at the bottom. And that's how much it will cost you to wrap your vehicle, so go check it out. As always, guys, thank you for your support. Like and subscribe. Like, like and subscribe, subscribe guys.